Welcome to the On My Workbench channel. In this video I'll show how I built my weed sprayer cart using a 15 gallon workhorse sprayer from Tractor Supply and an old lawn trailer. The weeds around my workshop had gotten out of control. I got tired of carrying around a two and a half gallon pump sprayer so I decided to build a pull behind sprayer cart that I could pull with my John Deere lawn tractor. The sprayer boom supplied with a workhorse sprayer is a heavy metal pipe. I wanted something lighter so I used a 43 inch piece of 3 quarter inch gray PVC conduit. All of the sprayer hardware fits the 3 quarter inch PVC conduit so I did not have to make any modifications. I needed a way to hold the sprayer boom on the back of the lawn cart so I started with two PVC saddle tees. Saddle tees are used in plumbing when you need to tee off a water pipe without cutting it. I needed a way to attach the tees to the back of the lawn cart. I used two 3 quarter inch PVC threaded plugs. I drilled a quarter inch hole in each of the plugs and then used a quarter inch bolt with washers to fasten the plugs to the back of the cart. Next I screwed the two tees onto the plugs and snapped the 3 quarter inch PVC conduit into the tees. Two right angle mounting brackets are supplied with a sprayer for mounting it to the back of a four wheel ATV. I used the mounting brackets to mount it in the lawn cart. I forgot to take a photo of the mounting brackets before I installed the tank in the cart. They can be seen in these two photos marked with the arrows. After securing the tank in the lawn cart, I ran a line from the sprayer boom to the sprayer pump manifold. A handheld sprayer wand is supplied with a sprayer. I wanted to be able to use the sprayer wand so I ran the hose through a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC conduit mounted to the inside wall of the lawn cart and ran it up to the lawn tractor. I used a 19 inch piece of 3 quarter inch gray PVC conduit as a wand holder and two 3 quarter inch conduit clamps to attach the holder to the hood of the lawn tractor. I put a 12 volt car battery in the left front of the lawn cart to power the sprayer. The sprayer is supplied with a wiring harness and an on and off switch, but it was too short to reach the seat of the lawn tractor, so I used a 120 volt wall switch to control the 12 volts to the pump. The switch allows me to turn the sprayer on and off when I'm using the spray boom. The spray wand is controlled by a pressure switch built into the pump. In these next three videos, I'm testing the sprayer wand and the boom with fresh water. Here I'm using fresh water to test the spray boom and see what the coverage pattern looks like. The spray pattern actually turned out pretty good. I'm quite pleased with the way it's, it's spraying. In this video I'm actually applying Cornerstone Weed Killer using the handheld wand and it gives great coverage. I'm really impressed with how much it, uh, how well it covers and how well you can aim it. Very pleased with the way it's working. Please check back with the On My Workbench channel for more videos on cool stuff. Please subscribe, like, comment, and click the little bell. And thanks from the On My Workbench channel.